Today we're going to fix bug 1195 where if you stand over top a steam jet it resets the player animation. So as you can see here in this animated GIF, let's go ahead and see if we can reproduce this ourselves. We'll stand right at the top here. We're right over top the jet and you can see that Sonic keeps moving between his teetering animation and getting reset to the stand. So let's see why that is. Let's look for empty steam is the name of the object for steam. And we'll see that it's solid. And if we look at the animation frames, you'll see it sets the steam solid for two ticks and then sets it unsolid again. Now, this was actually implemented back, I, I originally wrote this code, and it looks like it hasn't been changed. And knowing what I know now, I think we can do a much better implementation of this. So instead of relying on the collision detection system for solid objects to initiate this, this action, let's instead use the special pickup system which is more useful for interacting with objects like this because we don't need any solid collision. We just need to know that when you're doing quote unquote picking up the steam and it's in the burst frame that it will launch you upwards. Let's see where else empty steam is used here because it's pmap.c that's for doing solid collision. And it looks like we've got a function here, p do fan and gas jet. Well, we're not going to be using the collision system anymore, so we're going to peel out this empty steam portion. And really, this is only going to be do fan. We're not going to do gas jet as well. So let's rename this function. Looks like this is used a little bit more places than I thought. <laughs> Let's make sure we get rid of the empty steam as well because we only want it to occur for the fan at this point, not the steam. Another thing we can do is double check with empty steam, make sure it's not used anyplace else. This is under PIT do check thing, but since it's going to be a special type, it's not even going to apply here. Looks like Springs is here twice. It's okay to leave here in PZ movement just in case the um, steam is moving around. We only care about where it's interacting with um, other objects. All right, so let's go to the collision code for special pickups, which is pinter.c. Inter stands for interaction. And we're here in p touch special thing. And we can put it down here all the way at the bottom. And we don't want the player to pick up the steam, so we have to return here instead of break, because down here it calls the death sound and it essentially removes that object from play. So we want to keep it in play. We're just using it as when you interact with the object, it's going to burst you upwards whenever the steam is in the burst state, which is right here. We need to rename a couple of these things. So this becomes special. Object is instead called toucher in this function. And only players can touch other objects like this. So you don't need to check for the player here. We just know it already is a player.
All right, well, we're missing a couple variables. Flip val, speed, and zdist. Well, you see the zdist, it checks to see if the distance between the heights is more than 16. So let's go back to this p do fan, and you will see here that we have a couple variables we can copy. Speed, flip val, And instead of relying on ZDist, what we can do is we can use the special pickup collision already to figure this out because here steam is normally just one frac unit tall, but it's gonna check normally for 16, a distance of 16. So let's just make this a height of 16. Let the, let the special collision filter that all already for us. So we don't need to worry about that. So there's our speed value. Okay, let's go ahead and, well, one more thing we have to think about is in the info table, there are some actions here. And these actions are live inside of penemy.c. And what it does is it sets the steam solid really quickly and then makes it non-solid very quickly. Well, we don't want to have it be solid. What we want to do is we want to change it from special, which allows a special pickup, to not special. And so that's all we have to do here. Because remember, we're not using the physical collision system for this anymore. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we've got. No, it boosts us back up. Yep, behaves just like the old one does. And we go on the teeter-totter on the edge, and we're right above it, the steam, and it's not resetting us anymore. So I think this one is all done. We'll go ahead and we'll create our branch. Push it back up. Hold up. Turns out I goofed. One thing I forgot about is that pushable items can also be affected by the steam. So we need to change. I can't use this because this is only hit by players. So we need to modify touch special thing to also be triggered by pushables so you'll see here where p touch special thing is called in the collision code it checks to make sure if it's a player so what we can do is we can remove that and what it will do is it'll allow anything to call touch special thing and we just have to make sure that we make sure here that if it's a player we bomb out. Or if it's not a player, we bomb out before we get to the rest of the player specific code. So we can take our Steam functionality and put it here to where if the, what we're touching is Steam, we check if it's the player or if it's a pushable object. And then we return right here so we don't continue down. Although really, I don't think that's necessary. Could put this up here organize this a little bit better for the future maybe if you want to add more things here that pushable objects can interact with simplify this syntax just a little bit so let's go ahead and run it and take a look and see what happens Okay, well the steam jet works, but we picked it up. <laughs> so an issue with that is because the, the pushable won't pick it up, but the player will. So we can put return right here. 
Actually, you know what? I know we weren't going to do the return for the whole thing, but we probably should. Yep, still there. It will be on the ledge above it. Looks good. Okay, next we need to put a pushable item here and test it out. So we'll go to object place. And we will find the gargoyle. There we go. We'll place one of them. Turn off object place. Let's see if we can push this guy over a steam jet. Oop, there he goes. Nice. So if we want to get really cute, what if we stand on top of them? It looks like we're still getting that effect where you go into a teeter position, but this is kind of a... This is a separate issue, I think. So maybe we'll explore that later. But this should work a lot better because it interacts with both players and the pushable objects now too. We should also make sure we have some of this other code right. So if it is a player, Some other things here that check if an object was removed, and some other things that could potentially cause problems. So we want to check these before we get to that point. All right, we're done with this one. See you next time.